Welcome back to the great outdoors, y'all. Getting ready to go on a bass fishing trip again. Taking y'all along with me. Chicken check real quick right now. Why is our Polish in here? Why is our Polish the only one? Not out with its buddies. Could it be finally laying an egg? Finally. It's a weird bird. So flighty. So flighty. Let's see what's going on in here. Just a couple of blues. About to have to put the chickens up. We had a semi-successful meat mission just yesterday. I caught a whopper. Caught a whopper crappie, y'all. I, I thought I had, I, when I first saw it in the water, I was like, okay, I have, I have got maybe my PB crappie, but no, it was not. Still a giant though. Check that baby out. We're going to flay that up. I'm going to eat that for dinner uh, tomorrow night. Today, we are heading out to a lake I haven't fished in a couple of years. Got a little hot tip from a buddy. So grabbing that buddy, we're heading out to the lake. And I'm guessing it's going to be sort of a flipping bite, kind of up close and personal, hard hook sets, getting them out of that cover type stuff. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be like that, but still got some water droplets from the lens the other day getting splashed fishing freaks we out here we're the only ones at the ramp today and there's my buddy trey on the way to catch bigs yay that's my rhyme for the day all right it is a calm day probably water temps i'm gonna guess in the low 60s in march going into april so this is a very good time to start dabbing around a little bit start dabbing on the banks with you know your creature baits your jigs you know throw your weightless baits out there a little bit maybe they want to slam a spinner bait i haven't been on a great spinner bait bite this year i don't know but it's setting up to be uh, a pretty fun day at least not being blown around by 20 mile an hour winds like we have for the last three weeks and there's a few creeks out here this lake isn't huge but the potential for a big bass is here we are in texas um and as of right now there's only a couple boats on the lake so there's a lot to go around folks let's hop in the silver bullet fire it up and let's get to fishing <laughs> Back. We've got a sandy ram. A little bit more. There she blows. Holy cow. Water looks good. I was hoping to see some stable water color levels. The lake's a little down, but it's just got that little greenish tint to it, which is awesome. I'd love to see that. I like them. How excited are you about these conditions? Oh, dude, these little bushes in the water. And you, this is like the nicest fishing day I've had all year, too. Just light wind and warm, and water is 63. I think we're, we're, we're looking at a nice setup here, folks. Looking at a nice setup. Trey's had a, you know, a little tough beginning of the year. You had a start off with a real big bang, almost won a derb, and then it's, it's done that weird March tricky thing. Like it likes to do. Is that a rooster tail over there or is that a roof? That is a rooster tail. I, I don't know. Well, typically later in the day, the shallower will be better. Let's just idle for a second. Let's get our bearings. Let's see what we got. I'm so excited. Let's do it. Let's catch a hog jammer today, y'all. Spots back there's another crappie. Hmm. Literally just came up to the surface. Spawned out. Spawned out crappies. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Yeah, he's all colored up. Even main lake. All that main lake stuff looks good. Yeah. 
fish on the outskirts here. Maybe good for dragging. A couple bass right there, scooting on the edge. There's one. on a crankbait, an old red crankbait, little buck. Bass, a bass on the point. Feel pretty decent. Oh yeah, oh I just got pumped too. It's a good one. Oh he's jumping again. Oh, okay. jumping That's a it's nice awesome. one. Everybody how's it hooked? You need a net? Yeah, you Do your thing. Dance with it. Dance with it. Oh god. Oh yeah. It's kind of large, right? Yeah. Oh he just took off. Did he just come off? Yeah. Oh that was like he six. Was something else uh, out of mouth. Like a six -ish. Dude, you denied the net. Don't blame it on me. Oh, man. That was a tasty one. Oh. Six, six and a half. At least. Yeah. Better uh, I'm looking for color change, as weird as that is, right after I got a bite, because he was hooked on the outside, too. Yeah. I got I got hit, too, as soon as you got that bite, but it, it didn't feel that big. It was just a beep, quick bump. Like a chartreuse. That's nice. That's nice. A couple of little bucks, and then wha-bam, big and comes out of nowhere. Well, that was a clue we needed. That is. I, I think I'll try this next point as well. Now that one, that one there has it. Has it double stuffed. That's a double stuffed Oreo right there. I actually thought I was hung. I went to jerk the bait out. Secondary points, mainly points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Program. Oh, that's a fish. That feels like a big one too. Yeah. Big. On the recon. Okay. I don't know yet. Thought it was hung. It's large, dude. It's a giant. Oh my God, it's a giant. Give me the net, give me the net, give me the net, give me the net. Give me the net. Oh my God. It's like, it's like a 10. Oh yeah, that's a, that has some half. Easy does it. It's like an eight. Hello. Hello. Marge. There's Marguerite. You That's called a, it. There's going to be a big one on this point, man. <laughs> oh, oh my god. That is, that is a recon fish. Oh my god. Really <laughs> sow. That one's scary, man. Uh. Barely hooked. Triple grip. Thank you, Lord. I keep it now. I'm not gonna lie guys, I thought it was hung there for a second and then I saw those head shakes so I was like, that's a pig, that's an eight pounder. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. Whew. Hang on a second. I'm gonna well this one to make a couple more casts because this could get western. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It was up there shallow though. I mean like three cranks I hit bottom. Three cranks I hit bottom and then <laughs> Mountain Dew colored crank got ripped. Damn. Oh my gosh. Now I've caught a couple of squeakers today. A couple of bucks up shallow. Trey lost uh, got at least a six and a half. If 
thought it was a little bit smaller, got up close to the boat, had one treble in the side and that fish pulled off. So I was freaking out when I saw that, that the fish I hooked was a bass. I was like, maybe it's a catfish. And then when I saw the whole thing, how long it was, that white flash in the water and that was a large mouth. I was like, get that net. Don't want to lose that. I got that. <laughs> this is a big fish. I think it's eight pounds, maybe a little over. But I just switched up. I was throwing a red crankbait kind of up shallow and seeing some deeper rocks. So I switched to the recon, which runs eight to 12. So I could keep it more in that consistent, you know, five to eight foot zone. And it just got, it got throttled. Throwing it on that glass rod too in the black series. So it's, it's very soft, which you don't feel the bites as much with a, with a glass rod. But when you get hooked up, it's just great for crankbaits because it keeps the fish pinned a lot better. It's easy to throw, throw crankbaits as well on that glass the way it loads. So, oh, trade netted me up and we've got a girthy girl in here. I'll be honest with you, there was a little boat shrinkage because when I, when I saw it at first, I was like, this, this could be, could be a double D. It's not a double D, but it's a very healthy fish. And from what we've seen so far, it looks like we got pre-spawn, pre-spawn action. This tail on this fish is, uh, is very clean. It's very fat. It has not, uh, it has not yet moved up and done its thing. It's just awesome to see. Look at that beautiful, beautiful fish. All right, let's get a weight on it. Wow, it's gonna lock in right at eight, looks like. It keeps bouncing from 812 to 795. 796, actually, that's what it locked in at. 796, I'm gonna call it an eight pounder. That's a beaut, big mama. All right, I'm gonna let her go right where we caught her. There she goes. Awesome. Just cranking a point going into a spawning area. We started up really shallow, flipping, went all the way in the back of the creek because the last place I fished, it was like, it was on in the back. So every lake's different though. So we came out kind of midway in a creek and Trey caught that nice one on a point. We saw another point that kind of led out and started throwing crankbaits on it. And that's the only fish we've caught on it, but it's a huge fish. So I bet if we go up into this pocket and crank a little shallower, we'll probably get some, some males. We'll get those like, you know, one to two pounders that are already up there on the bank, but we're gonna make some more casts out here on the deep stuff and see if we can get another Mondo. Smash that like button, y'all. Woo. Crack a liquid death here. Why do those go down so smooth? They're incredible. Maybe it's because I think I'm drinking a beer. It's like my mind is tricked. Guggen gloves now available. It's getting sunny out there. Boat shorts now available and uh, Guggen gloves. Protect your skin for the win. Was expected. Spastic. Spastic buck bass action. <sighs> Gyrating the tip. I've got these things dialed. It's a little better one. What happened? They got smaller. I know. Well, when we were up there sitting in like five, I was looking on the live scope and you could see them like under the boat. Scattering. Scattering. So I think came this out might here. be the deal because we caught a couple of micros on that other point and then you mm -hmm. whacked that one. So we might just have to. We threw them. Ones and twos to six to eights. I got so many rods out on the deck starting in the day. So I'm going to put some things away, kind of get focused in on cranking and probably flipping. It's probably going to be boomer baits today, guys. I, I love it. 
I'm a boomer bait fisherman. This is my wheelhouse. I love just throwing crankbaits, jigs, spanner baits, all that old time stuff that still catches bigs. Charged. Dude, you were smacking their butts off. Little bins. Little vans. Fun size. Oh, they're schooling. They oh, are. Fast schooling. They are very attracted to the red, it seems, right now. Yeah, they're all like barely hooked. They just, they feel triggered to eat it. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting yeah. Getting that pee pee Spitting. on me. Pee pees. All right, well, Trey is saning the lake of every one pounder so far. We are good for a round some action. Big butt. Oh, ate it off the snag? That looks like a better one. Yes. Tail hooked. Ate it off the tree. He was checking it out. Pummeled. Little buddy. White bass. There's my old friend. Alrighty friends, midday report. We got one Mondo and I think Trey has caught a dozen scooplets. I don't know what it is. They were much in that, that red crankbait, but the bigger ones are just... They seem to be hanging on the secondary points leading into the spot. So we're going to go check out another part of the lake. Maybe it's completely different. I don't know. It could be a flipping bite. Uh, it could be a lot of you know shallow, brushy stuff. There wasn't a lot of good brush underwater here, but We'll go see. We'll go explore. We'll see if there's anything else. It looks sexual. Tally ho down. <laughs> All right, we just rolled to the other side of the lake. It is shallow, a lot of buck brush in the water. Different program than what we were just fishing, which was the opposite end, closer to the dam area, more chunky rocks and stuff. I think we fish in here. If we don't get a bite in like, you know, 100 yards or so, we should go fish the other side docks. That looked pretty good. There, there was a cut that I passed that looked like a good little, kind of a safe spawning area, a bunch of docks in it. So there's this huge line of buck brush out here. It's like, where do you start? It's like fishing grass lines. And usually it's the outer edges and the, the outliers. So like there's that whole wall and then boom, you go over here and there's a couple of stick ups, isolated, isolated clumps. It's usually where the bite is, but we'll see. Water is 61 and a half right here. So it's definitely, it's definitely spawn temperatures. They weren't quite doing it on that end. Maybe they're more pushed up over here. And I can't forget about the swim jig y'all. Hands. Look at this beautiful little bass mafia box. It's perfect. Little swim jig box here. This might call. I might. Yeah, I might go three eighths. Three eighths with a full oak chobe crawl on the back. I haven't found a bait that has more action on my swim jig trailers than the junior crack and crawl even with a quarter ounce that thing is twerking on the back three eighths that's my my go-to weight and it's good for this type of shallow cover me and john fished a, a lake recently that's very similar to this type of cover 
and instead of flipping flipping it going really slow uh, which is effective it's just time consuming sometimes i like to throw the swim jig on it worked really good on that lake the other day just to kind of figure out who's home what kind of animals you're dealing with also i'm yet to get a guggen squad jig that has has epoxy over the eyelet to tie it jigs are just they're high quality i think they're the best jigs on the market very good paint good design i mean if that's not a little biteable biscuit i don't know what is Oh god, just had one right there. Yeah. Boiled on it. See that? <clears throat> See that boil? Dang um. Might try to flip a log back in there. Could be a territorial male. Ready to strike. We've got 63 degree water over here, so. This is like a big featureless bay. Yes. Yes. Look on the map. Big bay comes right out of it. Oh yeah. Good old fun bite. Swing jig. Not a big one, but fun. Just cracked that crack and crawl. Yeah, Trey was just saying this is just kind of a big featureless bay and there's not much to get on so <clears throat> don't have much of a choice oh, oh my gosh got him there you go god those fish are aggressive dude <laughs> that was fun that was cool it was like a top water eat Probably the same one. That joke just never gets old for me. Making the buck bass pee on your buddies. I'm gonna do that. Until, Big fan. I didn't do that. I'm gonna do that until I'm physically unable. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have never fished a swim jig before. It's really one of the easiest lures to fish and it just comes through the cover so well. Oh, tree's on. Oh, that looks better. There we go, baby. There we go, baby. Oh, mm. yeah. That was the size Four of a pounder. Do these exist? Yes, they do. Oh, that's such a fun bite. That is awesome. That looks like a big male. Oh. Clap it. <laughs> That was fun. Oh. Dude, that's, it. that's it. That's interesting. Two different looks. Swim jig and the, and the uh, saucy thrown through that. I, I, I honestly think the saucy will get bigger bites. It's just a bigger profile. <laughs> it's got a big thump. This is kind of finessey. But both really good things to throw in this in this buck brush. It's just a little calm for a spinner bait. Oh, what an awesome hit. Just bringing it up the log. God, that's so fun. <laughs> Chunky butt. Oh, bobbing it up the stick and doosh. Crushing it. That was almost like a topwater hit. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. 
my last bike too is I was kind of like sliding along something. Yeah. And I just kind of, almost all mine would come when it making contact with a stick or like immediately after bumping one. Oh my gosh, it came off. God, what a hit, dude. You knew it too, that isolated. <sighs> Gave it the business on braid and everything. Oh, feel it. Got it. Got it. Oh, that was a bite. Doom. Nobody home in that one? I haven't really made a cast yet. I think I might flip it. There it is. The good one too. Patient and made the right cast. That's like Denny Briars told me one time. He said, I always have an exit plan. That's exactly right. I, I could have made that cast from way far away and not. I would have screwed it up. So uh, Trey waited until we got a little closer and he could make a precise cast and have an exit out of there. Like the last bite I got, I flipped on the back side of the brush, fish hit it, and went down with it. As soon as I set the hook, I was stuck. Should have waited until I got a better position. But that is an isolated clump right there away from the other stuff. And uh, usually your better fish come on that, just like that one. crack and crawl in here this thing is just a action-packed trailer something about the smaller claws a little bit thinner plastic that just gets it ultra moving on the slow retrieve Come here, bud. Little one. Sea biscuit? Yeah, he had me tied around a oh. tree. Bigger one. Double tap him. Double tap him. <laughs> Here you are, it's fun. It's fun. I don't care if they're pounders. Oh, it's a good afternoon tangle, y'all. We made a move, went to some deeper, kind of clear water this afternoon and at the very late end of the day. Didn't pan out. You know, water was like five degrees cooler than the other side of the lake, but awesome midday flipping bite. Had a big, had a couple of bigs on. So it's really, really, really good trip and i'm glad we came out here but now it's time to go to the hq so let me show you around <sighs> well y'all we are at the hq but i there's somebody changed the security code on the uh on the doors here and i don't want to go in here and have the police called so i will have to come back but you guys stay tuned because next video we are going out to some clear water. We're going to be doing a completely different look than what we did today. Probably getting into some crappie fishing as well, but I'm hoping for some big bass doing some clear water tactics. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single adventure, and I will see you guys on the next one.